Good afternoon and welcome to the Catskill Regional Invasive Species Partnership Partners Meeting. Uh, it's May 11th, 2022. I'm John Thompson, I'm the Catskill Regional Invasive Species Partnership Director, and I'll be facilitating the meeting today. Um, on the screen in front of you is our, I wanted to point out is our new logo. Uh, and I'd like to thank some of the people that are on the call today, uh, Catherine Scalda, Mark Wolf, uh, and Allison Dunn, who helped to design that logo. I've gotten a lot of great comments, so you guys can be um, happy about that. I think it looks great. Uh, today, uh, we'll be uh, going over the agenda in a few minutes, but I wanted to uh, just give people the opportunity. I think we all we can do this with the number of people that we have uh, to introduce themselves. Um, maybe just give a your name and an organization, and uh, maybe how many how long you've been at that organization. And I'll call on you. I have uh, Bethany first, if you can unmute yourself. Oh, you're muted, Bethany. Okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, I was just saying that I'm in a graduate student office right now, so I have a mask on. But my name is Bethany. I am the new assistant coordinator for the Watershed Steward Program for the CRISP region. So I'm taking over for Sarah Conley now that she's at um, CRISP. And um, I am also here with Brian, who will introduce himself in a second. But Great, thanks, Bethany. Uh, next, I have Catherine Scalda. Can you hear me? Yep, go ahead, okay, Catherine. Super. Um, yep, I'm Catherine Scalda. I manage a program called Catskill Streams Buffer Initiative, and we do riparian plantings throughout the west of Hudson watershed. Um, the areas that I manage are the Papacton and Cannonsville watershed areas. Um, and so we work with streamside landowners throughout the region, and I've been doing this since 2009. Excellent. Um, I have Brian Heffernan, Hefferon, sorry, next. Hi, so uh, my name is Brian. I'm a head steward with the uh, CRISP Watershed Steward Program. So uh, I'm just, just starting this year, so just you know, trying to sit in, learn, learn a little bit more about what CRISP is all about, I guess. Yeah. Excellent. Welcome, Brian. Uh, next, I have Jeff O'Hanley. Jeff, can you unmute yourself? Yep. Sorry. Uh, hi, I'm Jeff O'Hanley. I'm Program Director for Otsego County Conservation Association. I've been with OCCA since 2013. Uh, we do a host of environmental programs in the Otsego County region, including a lot of invasive species work. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Jeff. Um, Mitch O'Neill. Go ahead, Mitch. Are you there, Mitch? I'm not hearing you, Mitch. Can you hear me now? Oh yeah, go. Oh, sorry about that. Hi everyone, I'm Mitch O'Neill. I work with the New York National Heritage Program on the IMAP Invasives team. So I mostly uh, conduct trainings and outreach for IMAP Invasives. I'm happy to be here. Thanks, Mitch. Next, I have Rebecca Leung. Hi, um, I'm an intern at the Cornell Cooperative Extension in Schoharie and Oxego County. I'm here on behalf of my boss, Jessica Holmes, who is the educator for ag and horticulture here. And I've only been here a couple months now. Well, welcome. Thanks for joining us today, Rebecca. Next, I have Connor Young. Hi, everybody. I'm Connor Young. I'm from uh, Cornell Cooperative Extension of Columbia and Greene counties, but I work with our, uh, I guess, our CC network throughout the CRISP region. So Ulster, Dutch, um, Ulster, Sullivan, Coharie, Otsego, Delaware. Um, I think a few of us, it's great to see Rebecca here. 
And uh, I also uh, support John and, um, you know, the other members of the steering committee when I can. So uh, happy to be here. And um, yeah, thanks, John. Thanks, Connor. Sarah Coney, do you want to give a brief in introduction? And I have a, a space on the agenda where you could talk more about yourself and what you're doing. Yeah. Um, hey, Sarah. Some know me already. Uh, I'm Sarah Coney. Um, I was previously the assistant coordinator for the CRISP Watershed Steward Program, but I've now uh, taken a new position as the CRISP AIS manager working out of the Catskill Center. Thanks, Sarah. Um, Mark Wolf. Are you able to un unmute yourself, Mark? Hi, everybody. Hi, well, I'm, all, I'm all in a shadow here. I'm Mark Wolf. I'm the director at Mountaintop Arboretum, which is in Tannersville. Uh, we have 178 acres. If you haven't visited, please come visit. We're public garden. We do uh, quite a bit of programming. We just launched a new native tree trail. The grand opening is Memorial Day weekend, which we're excited about. We do a lot of invasive species management, but luckily, well, I don't know, luckily we're at the top of the mountain. So I think we have less, I know we have less invasive species than further downstream, although we have our share of them and we work uh, on managing them and we work with Crisp and like Connor, I uh, help support the, uh, the stewardship committee also. Thanks, John. Thanks, Mark. Next, I have Kate Cooper. Kate, you'll have some time on the agenda, but if you can just uh, give us a little brief introduction here. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Kate Cooper. I am the volunteer and outreach coordinator here at CRISP. Um, I started last month, so I'm pretty new, um, and I'm very excited to meet you all. So thank you all for being here. Thanks, Kate. Next is Christine Colley. Christine, can you unmute yourself? Are you there? Uh, we'll come back to you, Christine. Um, Stephen Pearson, are you there? Hello, hello everyone. Stephen <clears throat> Pearson here. I'm a research scientist with the New York State DC. I focus on aquatic invasive species work statewide and am uh, always interested in what's going on in CRISP. Thanks. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, I have Dan next, Dan Snyder Nerp. Go, Dan, if you're there. Hello. Uh, I think most of you know me, but I'm Dan Snyder Nerp. I've been with CRISP for quite a while uh, as the field projects manager and now the terrestrial invasive species manager. Thanks, Dan. Next up is Colleen Lutz. Colleen? Hi, this is Colleen Lutz. I am a special projects assistant for IMAP Invasives, and I work with Mitch here at in Albany. And always excited to hear what's going on in the Catskills. Thanks. Uh, next is uh, Andrea Nieves. Andrea, are you able to unmute yourself? Yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Andrea Nieves. I am the Invasive Species Outreach and Education Coordinator for the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. And Andrea will be uh, talking a lot about ISA today, so we'll get to hear from her a lot. So thanks for joining us. And I think the final person I have is Chris Gilbert. Um, but it, are you there, Chris? It looks like you're connecting to audio. And did I miss anybody? Oh, Meredith, are you there? Yes, hi, John. This is Meredith Taylor with New York City DEP. I'm the invasive species biologist here working in our upstate watershed and also part of the Chris steering committee. I'm currently serving as chair um, and former CRISP coordinator in a past life. So hello, everyone. Thanks, Meredith. Let's go back to Chris Gilbert. Are you there now, Chris? Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Um, I'm Chris Gilbert and I am um, from the Department of Transportation in Region 9. And, uh, and I'm also the DOT liaison, uh, regional liaison to CRISP, so. 
Thank you, Chris. Uh, did I miss anyone? I'll give you a couple seconds if anybody else joined that I didn't get. I don't hear anyone. Um, so yeah, you should be seeing the agenda in front of you. Uh, I just wanna go over it briefly so that we know where we stand today. Uh, I wanted to, first we'll introduce our crisp new staff um, who, who already introduced themselves, but maybe um, when we get to that, Sarah can say a little bit about what she's doing and I'll give Kate the opportunity to talk about what she's been doing and what she plans to do. We'll be talking about one of her projects a little bit later on in the agenda. Uh, I just wanna go through the, that we did select um, our request for proposal projects for 2022. And um, I just wanted to go over what those projects are briefly. Then um, again, briefly, wanted to talk about the Ashoka Rail Trail invasive species management project that we're doing. We have a number of dates that are lined up and um, we're trying to uh, publicize those as much as we can to get volunteers out on the Ashokan Rail Trail to manage invasive species, starting with the invasive species at, at the vistas along that trail. If you haven't been to that trail, it's a beautiful trail. Uh, it's 11 and a half miles long, runs along the Ashokan Reservoir. This is a great trail. And then uh, next, um, Andrea will be uh, showing us a lot of the resources that are available for ISAW. Uh, ISAW will be coming up June 6th through the 12th. Uh, so we can talk about that and, and give anyone the opportunity to talk about what they might be doing, help they might need or, or uh, things that they have going on for, for ISAW. And then a, a put time at the end for other partner updates. I realized that other that partners might have other things that they wanted to talk about today or, or publicize. Uh, so I'll give you the opportunity for that towards the end of the meeting. And then I expect that we'll be done 20 after two or by 2.30. Um, so going back up to the, our new staff, if uh, we could start with Sarah here, if you wanted to talk about um, maybe what you have planned for the summer, Sarah, and uh, I could also mention that um, we've hired four technicians that will be on our strike team we'll have one two person aquatic strike team that will be working with Sarah and one two person uh, terrestrial strike team that will be working with Dan. Uh, Sarah, do you wanna talk a little bit more about what you're doing? Yeah, um, so, most of my focus this summer is going to be on surveying a lot of water bodies that haven't been done in a few years, uh, seeing if anything new has popped up, uh, frog bit or water chestnut or possibly something worse, uh, though fingers crossed. Um, I will also be doing a fairly thorough survey throughout the upper uh, Susquehanna watershed looking for quagga mussels. Uh, they have been detected in Otsego Lake and they've gained a pretty good foothold there. So it's not unreasonable to think that they have since spread down the Susquehanna and into neighboring water bodies such as Canada Durango or Gilbert's Lake. Um, so we will be focused on tracking their spread and updating IMAPs and our own um, data as much as we can this summer. So uh, we also have several uh, education and outreach events uh, scheduled for this summer, uh, coordinating with partners like OCCA and I will continue working with the Watershed Steward Program to collect data and uh, schedule for events. We're doing a outreach event with the Otsego County Rotary uh, this weekend for a paddling event down the Susquehanna they have, and we will be helping them clean and drain dry before they launch boats. And I've been helping them will come up with uh, AIS research and what they can do prior to coming to the boat um, launch to do that. So. I've also spent a lot of time um, updating the CRISP website. So if you haven't seen that in a while, I would really suggest checking it out um, because I think it looks pretty cool. It does look cool. And, and thanks to Sarah that she's added a lot of content to the website. 
uh, it looks better and we're, we're continuing to add content. Um, I think in the agenda, I put in a link to our events that we have coming up. And, and, and so I just wanted, and we'll be adding to those, of course, with our ISA events and, and other events that we have along the way. Uh, but just wanted to draw your attention to that. So yeah, if you haven't looked at our website for a while, then I think you'll be pleasantly surprised <laughs> with all the work that Sarah's put into it. Uh, thank you for that, Sarah. Um, so Kate Cooper, you, you met uh, briefly. Um, maybe, Kate, uh, I'll be talking about the Ashokan Rail Trail Invasive Species Management Project a bit. Um, do you want to maybe talk a little bit about your background and, and, and maybe any other plans that we have coming up? Kate's new, so she's mostly been involved in the Ashokan Rail Trail Invasive Species uh, Management Project since she started. Do you want to add anything, Kate? Uh, yeah, just a little bit uh, about me. I, like we said, I am new. I have had experience working with the DEC over in Dutchess County for a little while. Um, and yes, I've been very focused right now on the Ashokan Rail Trail Invasive Species Management, which I'm excited to uh, share with you guys in a little bit. Um, but also throughout this summer, we will be starting to develop um, more long-term volunteer projects and things like that. So we will keep you updated with whatever we come up with. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to continue this process. Thanks, Kate. Uh, so next, I wanted to just mention that uh, as to follow up on what I said before. Uh, so this year we offered another request for proposals uh, we got a number of, of really good projects and we've selected them and uh, they are, so that you guys know, uh, Otsego County Conservation Association. We're funding for their Otsego and Invasives Intervention and Education Project. Uh, Jeff, since you're on the line, do you wanna add anything about that project, what you're doing, what your plans are? Sorry, you keep catching me uh, by surprise, John. <laughs> um, yeah, part part of our our project is is an attempt to um, do some more recruiting uh, and getting vol some volunteer teams out and um, uh, doing some more surveys and, and polls in some of our invasives. Uh, sorry, <laughs> you really caught me off. Uh, some of the water bodies out here. Um, uh, yeah, so, sorry, I'm not I'm not prepared today. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Sarah yeah. will be working with you and and, and um, at some point, uh, Kate will be working with you, yeah. I think, and, and um, we we'll get everybody to we're, uh, we're getting Kate dates person. on the we're getting dates on the calendar um, yep. and we've done some outreach already to some of our local lake associations as well to try to get some of you know their people involved so looking forward to it thank you thanks jeff uh next project that we're funding that i'll mention is uh suny Onyanta for the chris watershed stewards program um to buy some clean drain treat kits uh that they'll have at, at, at some of the regattas that are going on. Uh, the Conadrago Lake Improvement Association, we wanna to continue to support their watershed stewards program this year as we have in the last few years. And the Ecological Research Institute uh, to continue the monitoring and managing ash project in the Catskills. Um, the full title is Monitoring and Managing Ash in the Catskills 2022 building on a platform for citizen science and land manager engagement and a source of hope in the fight against emerald ash borer. So we're looking forward to working with all of these organizations on their projects. Um, and we're, we're looking forward to, to having a great year working with you. So thank you for all the people that sent in proposals and congrats on uh, working with me on developing a subcontract. We'll, we'll uh, get those moved ahead and, and uh, get you out on the ground doing your projects. Uh, so next, I, I just wanted to mention that um, we've been publicizing for the Ashokan Rail Trail Invasive Species Project. Um, we have a number of dates coming up on the calendar of, of volunteer work days, including 
this Saturday. Uh, we'll be out there uh, with volunteers. Like I said earlier, we'll be starting with the vistas along the Ashokan Rail Trail. Um, we have all the, the information on the CRISP website about what the dates are uh, and the events that we have planned coming up. Uh, also on our Facebook page. At the end of this project, we're planning on having a volunteer and recognition uh, party at the Catskill Visitor Center. Uh, we'll, we'll have um, some prizes, we'll have some gifts for our volunteers. Kate, is there anything else that we should mention here about that project? Um, I don't think so. I think that's all that we've got for now, yeah. Okay, yeah, so um, we'll, we have those on our, on our website. If anybody has any questions about the project, then I'd be happy to answer them. I could also say that we're in partnership with New York City DEP, Meredith Taylor, to help to get this project going. We're working with Ulster County um, in the Woodstock Land Conservancy. Anyone else that wants to partner on this project would be more than welcome. Uh, and like I said, the, the more outreach we can do on this, the better. So um, we'll, we'd be happy to share details with you if you wanna post um, anywhere uh, uh, about this project and, and help us to get more volunteers out there. So with that, uh, I wanted to move on to Andrea, if we could, with uh, Invasive Species Awareness Week um, resources and discussion. I'm going to stop sharing. Um, if you wanted to, to share your screen, you're welcome to. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So uh, I don't have a formal um, presentation, but hopefully we can just sort of informally talk about yeah. what I saw and uh, what we've got going on. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Okay, sorry, were you just seeing another? <laughs> yeah, I was Zoom? just seeing a duplicate of my screen. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> very uh, inception. Um, so can you see the NISAW page right now? Yes, I can, thanks. Okay, so this is the new um, NISAW landing page. First, I should just explain, just in case uh, not everyone is aware, NISAW is New York Invasive Species Awareness Week. It's June 6th through 12th. Um, and it uh, happens in partnership with all of the statewide invasive species management partners like DEC, Eigen Markets, the Invasive Species Research Institute in New York, IMAP, and also all of the PRISMs. Um, it's been going on for nine years, so this is our ninth year. And uh, the point of it is to have lots of opportunities for the public over this entire week to learn about invasive species, to participate in citizen science, go to webinars, um, do some management, learn how to use IMAP, um, all kinds of stuff. We want all kinds of varied, uh, exciting events all over the state. And so that's what we're asking you as the partners to do, um, put on some really cool events. And so this is our new landing page. It's nyis.info slash NYSAW. Um, and it is under construction still. I apologize, it's, it's brand new. Um, but just navigating the page, we have a little uh, blurb about what NYSAW is. And then um, this is the link right here to the sign up form. So if you do wanna host an event, uh, you can just click this link and it takes you to this form that I made. Um, and we're asking everyone to go through here because in the back end it puts everything on a spreadsheet. So then I can just put it right into um, the calendar and then everything's in a central place. So no matter where people are in the state, if they hear about I saw through, I don't know, Slilo's Facebook page, but they're in CRISP, they can find CRISP events on the same page. So this is just a little bit about the form. Where's your event? Who are you? What's the name of your event? Tell us about it. Um, when is it? And then an email address. Um, this email address is for me to reach out to you in case I want more information, like if the uh, location isn't clear or something. 
Um, and also that email address is for uh, a toolkit that I'm gonna be sending out to everybody. It's not completed yet, but I will show you a little uh, sneak peek of it. So we have a few, few things in here to help event organizers um, make sure everything goes smoothly. We have a draft press release um, for you to advertise your event as part of this statewide Invasive Species Awareness Week initiative. Um, there's a fact sheet which has contact information for the local prisms and basics on what is ISA, what's an invasive species, what's a prism. Uh, this can be something that you hand out. It can be something for you. Um, we also have an opening statement. And so this um, is where we're asking you to keep track of some of your stats. So how many people came if you were doing um, like an invasive poll, how many acres or plants or something, um, how many education materials you distribute. And then we have a survey form at the end, which I'll show you that you can put all of that stuff into. And that way on a statewide level, we can calculate, um, we can say, you know, 10,000 people participated in ISAW this year. That's a big number, but it would be really cool. Um, and we also have a little blurb, uh, which is an example of something that we'd like you to say if you plan an event during this week. So just mentioning the week, um, mentioning that it's part of this larger initiative, thanking people for being there, talking about the PRISM, um, uh, that is local to you and how to join and how to just continue um, engaging in the invasive species kind of world. So maybe if this is somebody's first event that they're going to, um, they know that there's more resources and more events and um, it's it can be more of a relationship instead of a one-off. So this toolkit is almost done. The one thing I have yet to add is draft social media so that uh, you can just copy and paste if social media is not your forte, um, or even if it is, so that we can have similar sort of wording and we're using hashtag NYSAW, for example, so that people can be sharing um, things and it all goes together. <laughs> uh, so that's the toolbox. I also just wanted to show you, um, we, as far as events, um, we have the event list by region. This goes directly to the PRISM event pages. And then there's also the daily statewide webinars. So part of NYSA, um, while all of the partners around the state are doing more physical events or movie showings or stuff outside, um, on the statewide level, we also wanted to offer something for people who can't do that, there's nothing near them on the day that they can go, um, would rather just do a webinar. So we're having webinars each day at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. And they're on all kinds of things. Um, we're gonna be doing a showing of Uninvited. IMAP's gonna be talking about um, doing statewide uh, challenges. Um, there's gonna be water stuff, stuff about how to uh, manage invasive species in your garden. Um, just, just general topics and they're going to be really, really fun. So you can check those out as well. And I did want to show you the calendar. This is ultimately where everything is going to end up. Um, it's just a basic Google calendar and we have a few things on here so far, which is really, really great. Um, so if you already have something planned for that week, definitely come to this page, fill out that form, and then I'll get it right on the calendar so that as we start advertising, it's there for anybody to see. Um, you can filter by region. So if you're in the Slila region, here's what's going on. Uh, you can also filter by statewide for the webinars. Um, yeah, so hopefully that will just continue to fill up. There'll be so many options for people to choose from. They just can't help participating in NYSA. Um, this is a little sneak peek of the Invasive Species Awareness Week bingo, another option for people who can't make it to a particular event, but they still want to participate on their own. 
Um, I'm going to be posting this on the website and then people can print it out and they're eligible to win a prize if they get five in a row. There's all kinds of stuff on here like attending a webinar, um, cleaning off your shoes before and after a hike, telling a friend about an saw, downloading IMAP invasives, learning about particular invasives like hemlock woolly adelgid. So that's an option for people as well. Uh, the last thing I just wanted to show you the survey at the end. So uh, participants for NISA events have a chance to win a prize if they fill out the survey because we want that good data. Um, and if you're a host, this is where we're also asking for data. So I have to add a few things on here, such as, um, you know, acres managed and all kinds of stuff. But um, we just kind of want to hear how did your event go? How many people came? What day was it? How did you advertise it? Um, what was the audience? All of that kind of stuff, um, because that just helps us continue to plan for the future, know what works, um, and know what people are interested in. So, um, yeah, I think that's kind of what I got. Any questions? <laughs> Thanks. That that gives a great overview of uh, what's available and what's on the way. <laughs> so I, I think that's really helpful. And I, I would just reiterate um, about filling out the getting the survey forms filled out for the the leaders. I know it's it's always hard. It's even difficult for me sometimes to find the time to do it during ISA or even after NISA. NISA, but um, uh, also getting all the participants to um fill that out too it's such valuable data that gets collected uh, do people have questions uh did you mention the pbs documentary viewing is that happening during nisa yeah so um that's publicly available in any partners you can schedule your own viewing but there is going to be a statewide webinar style viewing um on friday June 10th at 7 p.m. Um, and we're gonna have Jess Cancellari from the Forest Health Diagnostic Lab who is uh, featured in the webinar talking about HWA there to answer questions as well. It's still in the works, so it's not on the website yet, but as things keep coming in and we keep uh, figuring, you know, nailing down the details, um, that webpage is gonna continue to grow, so. I was just on. curious if there would be a push to get it out um, on public broadcast for that week as well. That's all. Oh, on PBS? Um, I haven't thought about that. Um, they have it now. They There was um, at the end of last month and I think the beginning of this month, there was a few uh, broadcasts on the local PBS stations uh, um, across the state, not all of them. So they have it in their library now. So perhaps I can push them to uh, show it during that week. That's a really good idea. It'd be nice, yeah. Yeah. Are there other questions or comments people have about ISA? Or do other people wanna add things that they want others to know about? I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> Did you want to add anything else, Andrea? I think I'm all set. Hopefully, I I kind of rushed through it, but uh, nyis.info slash I saw. I'll put that in the chat. Um, uh, the, it has the, contact information. If you have any questions, you can email. Will, will we be emailing around the toolbox or will that be put on the website or somewhere where people can have access to it? I'm open to feedback. My initial plan was once people sign up on that form, I will just email after directly to whoever signs up. But I can put it on the website as well, if that's more useful. 
one more quick question. Um, the curriculum that came out a few years ago, are there any plans to update that or um, revise a, a new version? Is there, is there anything at the works right now? No plans thus far. Um, we're still actually in the advertising phase for the initial curriculum. We want it to get used more. If you have any feedback, if there's things that need to be updated, let me know. Um, we can look into doing that. Great, great, no problem. Anyone else? Pull up uh, my agenda here. Um, so th thanks, Andrea. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, appreciate you coming yeah. to the meeting today and, and uh, that we can get focused on I saw <laughs> what's happening this year, uh, get those events on the calendar. I know that we have some events to add. So uh, thanks for your time for coming yeah, thank today. Thank you for having and, me. And um, we'll be in touch about stuff that's coming up. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so I put some time on the agen agenda for other partner updates. I don't know if anyone has things that they want uh, to let other people know about that are going on. We haven't had a meeting in a while, so I wanted to give you all the opportunity to do that. So if you wanted to unmute yourself, Bethany. Hi, everyone. Um, I did want to let you know that we have officially started our stewarding season this year. We had our first training, which was lecture based for stewards in the region on Saturday, this past Saturday. Um, Sarah was able to join us, so that was very nice. Uh, we hope to have, we plan on having a hands-on training at the end of the month. That's May 24th, 25th, and 26th. Uh, that's also open for other people to come if you would like. We'll be doing uh, hands-on plant and animal identification for both native and invasive species, uh, as well as boat inspections. Our stewards will be getting their supplies as we ship them out to the various uh, locations in the region. Uh, if you're interested in that, I can put a link to the form where you can sign up. We technically have three openings every time slot, um, but if there are multiple people from the same organization, we'd love to have more people there. Um, and our opening weekend will be Memorial Day weekend. So we already have some people, uh, I think Sarah alluded to it earlier, who will be stewarding a uh, rotary paddle this coming weekend. Uh, so you have a couple uh, rehires that will be doing that. So that our starting weekend will be Memorial Day. So, and thank you, Chris, for funding uh, our engagement with the public. So. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Thanks for submitting a proposal. We appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to a good season this year. Thanks, Bethany. Does anyone else have updates that they would, they want to let us know about? Hey, John, I can probably hey, just share a couple of quick events if you don't mind. So uh, just quickly, the uh, they're all on our website, but the first I just wanted to highlight was, uh, it's a virtual panel, essentially. It's called Sp uh, Spotted Lanternfly in the Catskills. And uh, a couple of CCEs got together with John here, as well as um, uh, Brian from IPM and a producer from Pennsylvania um, to discuss some of the, uh, not only the identification and reporting practices, but also some of the mitigation efforts and kind of the preparations that woodland owners, hardwood woodland owners especially, but also uh, grape and, you know, wineries can can start preparing for the, uh, for any potential infestation. So that's on a uh, May 24th, I have, I'll put the link in the chat in a minute. Uh, that's free registration. It should be about an hour and a half with a short Q and A. Uh, we, a couple other quick events. We're doing a, uh, an agroforestry workshop in, uh, in our uh, agroforestry resource center in Acre. It's on multifunctional riparian buffers. It's about uh, riparian forest buffer establishment and production, but 
obviously invasive species is a huge component of the success of a buffer system, but also in addressing potential threats to stream function and, um, you know, woodland, like forest health, essentially. So uh, that registration is also open. We have quite a, you know, a few slots left if anyone would like to attend. And then lastly, on June 6th, uh, sustainable forestry practices for healthy ecosystems. That's in our model forest in Acre. Um, in Acre. That's going to be with uh, Christopher Williams from the Capital Mohawk Prism. He, uh, he also is one of our fellow uh, master forest owner coordinators. So it's kind of a forest uh, kick on it, but we will be incorporating invasive species stuff and trying to get as much as much education as we can. And um, I will uh, keep everyone posted if, if I can on uh, some of the other events happening through the CRISP region. We have, we've had some turnover recently uh, as spring came on. So some of our positions are, are currently either being hired or transitioning. So our events list is uh, kind of a living document, I'd say. So yeah, that's, that's it for me, John. Um, when was the riparian buffer workshop? That's on May 25th. So here's the uh, spotted lantern fly uh, virtual panel. And then that same, uh, you can follow that same link to our other events that we have coming up. But, uh, two are in person uh, and then one is virtual. Thanks, I neglected to uh, mention the spotted lantern fly <laughs> panel, but I appreciate that, Connor, yeah. thanks for. Yeah, thanks. Including that. Um, are there other updates that, that people have or things that you want to mention to the group since we're all here? And yeah, and I'll, I'll um, just mention to, that there are some links in the chat um, from the Watershed Stewards Program and, and kind of put a link to the spotted lanternfly panel that we have coming up on May 25th. One thing that occurs to me, Kate, is uh, we, we could share with, with this group um, the write-up about the Ashokan Rail Trail project and the dates um, to make sure that they, they have the dates Connor, um, I, I think it'd be good if we make sure that the master gardeners know about that and, and maybe a, any other uh, CCE groups that you think might be interested in, in publicizing it or helping out along the way. Yeah, if you want to give me a summary, we can send it to the volunteer groups and then we can have that available on our Facebook pages, some of our hotline kind of, uh, you know, outreach efforts. Yep. Sure. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll provide you with a summary of what the project is and all the dates that we have. Um, yeah, and if, if you have a picture, like all the better. Yeah, yeah, great, thanks Kate. Yeah, Kate has some awesome <laughs> pictures. It, it's, it's such a beautiful place, <laughs> that, that trail and the vistas from the trail. So uh, it's really photogenic and it's easy to take nice pictures out there. But, but Kate's a, a great photographer too. <laughs> Could you send it to me as well for my master gardener? Okay. Thank you. And Rebecca, I'm going to send it out to the whole group too, um, and just in case. Oh, perfect. Thank you. <coughs> oh, yeah, Kate, I just put my email in the chat. Anyone's welcome to email me, but there it is. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Anything else that anyone wants to mention? I'll uh, come off mute for a second, if you don't mind. Um, just wanted to mention that uh, at OCCA, we will be doing some events for um, Invasive Species Awareness Week, starting off with a, a, a water chestnut pulling over at Goodyear Lake on the 5th of June. So Sunday afternoon, great, great way to kick things off. Um, and we'll be putting some other things up. I, I don't think my calendar is completely uh, filled out just yet so um but it, it will be added to um also that uh something to be aware of we've been working with several other organizations uh in the area on something called the susquehanna headwaters uh environmental collaborative which is an attempt to uh bring different groups together in the area so that we can communicate better so that we can uh potentially collaborate on projects more 
Um, one of the big events that the big event that we're working on is called Eco Fair, which is scheduled for July 9th in Neowa Park. And um, we'll be looking, you know, like a big a big festival kind of big fair and everything. And um, let me see if I can find that that link and I'll, I'll post it there at least to for the collaborative in general. Um, and, uh, you know, we're looking for folks to get involved in that. And I know some information has gone out uh, via mail uh, recently. Um, there we go. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're definitely, definitely looking for folks to, to be involved in that. So check out our website or you can email me or something and we'll get you information on that. Oh, John, you're muted. I am muted. Uh, thanks, Jeff. Uh, how many years have you done the water chestnut pull at Goodyear Lake now? Oh, that's going back to probably about 2005, 2006 wow. or so. It's been a long haul. And, uh, you know, we 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 had made some really good progress and, and we were a little alarmed that last year it seemed to make a, a bit of a comeback in, in some areas there. So uh, we're really hoping to 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 get in there this year and really rally the, the Goodyear Lake Association again as well. So, yeah, we're looking forward to helping out with that. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Colleen, I see you have your hand raised. Yeah, I thought I'd give a brief update from IMAP. Uh, yeah. Just a couple of things that are coming up. Um, on May 25th, we are going to have an SLF TOH Tree of Heaven IMAP training, and you can sign up at nyimapinvasives.org, and I'll stick the link in the chat, and it will probably go over the grid square sign up and, and how you can report to IMAP. And also, we wanted to note that the species tier list update will be coming soon. It's already at expert review, so uh, we'll be updating that as well. And that's all I have. Great. Thanks, Colleen. Uh, Sarah, do we have the our prioritized species list? up on our website now? Um, actually, I need to update it uh, still from last year. OK, but that will be going up on our website so um, everyone can have access to it. And uh, we, we did review it, and we provided it to IMAPS. Um, and we uh, one, one thing uh, that Donna Vogler suggested was that we uh, post the list with the, the comments because the, the comments are really valuable for understanding how we rank things or why we rank things in a certain way. Um, so, oh, did, did you see Colleen? There's uh, Jeff O'Hanley has a question for you in the chat. Yeah, I do see that. Um, you, it's all, I mean, it's always good to to do the training again. Um, it, it really hasn't changed too much uh, the process of how you're going to sign up to do um, SLF TOH um, surveying. Um, but if you just want a refresher, you're welcome to do that. Um, Mitch, did you want to add something? I saw you came back on video, <laughs> came up on video. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. But oh, okay. No, no, Colleen, Colleen covered it for me. Thank you. Oh, okay. Great. Um, sorry about that. Uh, Meredith, you have your hand up. I just wanted to give an update on behalf of the steering committee and just let folks know what we're working on right now. Um, we have a couple of big documents that are part of the DEC contract that we need to work through, including a partner agreement as well as our governance policy. So that's uh, on the top of our shortlist for projects to complete in the, in the remaining months we have left in this year as the, as the months slip away from us. And additionally, uh, we're working through a strategic planning process. Um, so we did a group concept mapping exercise, which you should have received uh, the opportunity to provide feedback through that process received a report from a contractor who was processing that data. And now we'll be working to figure out um, how to use that in a more 
uh, user friendly format and present that information back to everyone and coordinate with other entities working on invasive species management across the state and the region. So uh, I'll be sending out a doodle poll shortly to the steering committee members to have a meeting shortly and start that process of coordinating across agencies and organizations and moving that strategic planning process forward. So just a quick update on that. Thanks, John. Yeah, thanks, Meredith. Uh, I do have a question for you. Did, should we, we promise to, um, to share the results of the group concept mapping? Should we share that report with people that participated or should we, should we wait further down the road when we're we're still working on it, so yeah, I um, mean the the format it's in now. I think if we find a share, it's just it's a lot to yeah. to look through. So I, it might not be um, that useful or helpful for people. So um, yeah, I think it's fine to put it up on the website, but maybe not do a big press release or anything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah. We we could do that. It, I could even email it to all the people that um we invited to participate that sounds good if you would like us to do that okay uh and i want to thank a lot of the people that are here today participated in that group concept mapping um with their uh with their ideas for our priorities and helped with the brainstorming and helped in ranking the importance and feasibility of all of those ideas that came in. So thank you all for your time and doing that. I know it, it did take a lot of time, but I, I think the process itself was uh, more efficient than if we had met in person. Um, so thanks again for your time for doing that. Meredith, were you going to add something? I was just going to say, yeah, I agree. And, and I really appreciate all the feedback. I think we got some really amazing suggestions, both for CRISP and DEP. And uh, I really look forward to hammering out some of the details about how we're going to accomplish all of the great ideas that people shared. Great. Thanks. Anyone else want to add comments or updates or information announcements? Just unmute yourself or raise your hand if you'd like. Uh, I'll give you a few seconds. Uh, otherwise, I think that we're winding down for the day. I don't see any other comments. So with that, maybe we'll wrap it up. And uh, I'll thank you for joining us for the Chris Partners virtual meeting. Um, we expect our next meeting will probably be like early September. Uh, I'll share, share the date on the Chris listserv and we'll post it on our website and Facebook, uh, all the usual places. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that contributed today, everybody that uh, participated. Um, it's great for us to get together and, and to share these ideas and to look forward to our ISA and, and get all of our programs up, up on the I saw a calendar. Um, thanks again for being here today. I hope that everybody enjoys the day. It looks like it's still a great day out there. And uh, take care of yourselves. Thanks again for being here today. <laughs>